So many people say that when you start golf, you shouldn't hit driver and you should hit a five iron off every tee. Well, James is new to golf, so let's do it. Let's do it now. Oh, that is wonderful. Hi everyone, James Robinson here. Guys, first things first, I'd like to warmly welcome you all back to the channel. I'd like to welcome James back to the channel. I'd like to welcome you all to a wonderful sunny Woolley Park Golf Club. In today's video, we've got some interesting clubs in here, mate, haven't we? <laughs> we certainly Look have, yeah. at these. So James, you're brand new to golf, literally. Bra brand new. Brand new to golf. And a lot of people say that you should leave these in the bag and go with this one. A five iron. What have you, is that a seven iron? That's a seven. Would you rather go with a seven or a five? I'm going to take a five because a lot of people say that. <laughs> yeah, they do, don't they? I'm sure you've heard it as well. So all we're going to do, we're going to play a couple of holes. James is going to hit a driver off a tee and a five iron off a tee and see which club puts him in the best position. We've played a few holes already, given you a few little tips. Nothing major. I think you're nope. doing quite well already. Hate it when new golfers do really well off the bat because <laughs> I was terrible. Um, and then we'll take it from there, mate. So I'm going to give you this one as well. Excellent. And we'll, we'll kind of change up the order a little bit as well. So we've got five iron first, James. Teed up nice and high, try and get it away. What would you be expecting here from a five iron as opposed to a driver? I suppose I'd be getting a little bit more uh, height on it, a bit more loft, and I reckon in around about, well, if I'm lucky, 120 yards or something. Yeah. Interesting how, and this is so true when it comes to beginner golfers, the chat's distance. I'm talking dispersion. I'm talking keeping it in play. This is going to be really, really interesting, guys. So make sure you get in the comments below and let us know what's going to happen here. Is five iron going to be better for James or is driver going to be better? We're also going to talk players' fuel in a few holes' time and we'll get into the nitty gritty of that as well. Some pretty, pretty, in fact, we've got gummies, haven't we? We have got we've gummies. Got, that's we all you want. Got <laughs> that's all you want. That's okay, mate. So, not your best strike, but what I will say is we're in play and it's rolling down the middle. I'll take that. <laughs> right, let's go driver and see what happens here. And this is an interesting one because so many people always say, ah, oh, tee peg, is it? It is. You need a tee peg. So many people always say that you should hit iron because it's shorter, it's got more loft on it, and it's easier to control. But you look at the size of that surface area to hit, what are you more confident with? You know what, I'm more confident with the driver just for the fact that it's got a bigger head and yeah. I connect with the ball a lot more. Yeah. You know, what I'm tending to do with the, um, with the woods quite a lot is, is topple them yeah. um, and not connect more See, that sweetly. wasn't a terrible shot. It was just, it just smokes a small head, even though we've got, what is it? Is it a Ping Rapture, this? Ping Rapture. V2 Rapture. They bring back fantastic memories. Right, mate, let's go with Big Dog. So you've got one in place. So you can afford to... Yep. Give it some. Give it some. Oh, how good is that? That's perfect, mate. Oh, it's just clipped the tree. I think but the hole is over there. It might have just got over the I other think side, we're okay. Maybe. I think we're okay. I'm going to hand you this back. Thank you very much. So, James, you've been a footballer, you've been lots of things, gym goer. Why golf in 2021? You know what it was? Is that the truthful question is that is that I got diagnosed with cancer in uh, December 2019. Okay. Um, I spent 12 months in uh, hospital doing uh, chemotherapy, and um, I decided when I came out that number one that I needed a sport to replace football with uh, yeah. that was a lot more slower, that was going to be better on the body. And number two, while I was in the hospital, I created Playersfuel, which is the golf yeah. performance brand that we're currently talking about now. Fantastic. So um, that's great news. Do you know what's also great news? You passed the ladies' tee with that iron shot, so that, <laughs> that's always helpful. That. So this is where the iron's finished up. I'm I'm not a gambling man, but I'm going to say that the driver is better. It, it was a better shot, wasn't it? Better ball flight, better everything. Yep. So we're going to pick this one up. Yep. Woolly pot. Look at that. There's a little plug there. And I do find it interesting because so many people have picked up like golf's twenty percent up this year as opposed to 2019 and obviously the fact that we could play golf immediately pretty much after lockdown not as quickly as some of us would have liked but i think that certainly helps so for people who are new to golf i think this video could be quite resounding now we spoke earlier about players fuel players fuel i'm one an ambassador for which i'm very very proud to be an ambassador for i have been taking the oils for a couple of weeks now and uh we've just got something quite special haven't we let's see where this ball is it's very, very, it's on the edge, mate, I'm not going to lie. But we're about 200 yards further up and in play. You need a club, don't you? I do need a club. <laughs> While you get a club, I'm going to get something out of the bag. 
which you gave me today actually and I've been hoping you were going to bring these for quite some time we've got the players fuel CBD gummies which I'm really looking forward to getting into so talk to me mate about the benefits of these not only the gummies but the players fuel that I've been taking as well no problem so to start with the gummies the gummies have got 10 milligram of CBD per gummy and they've got 14 different minerals and vitamins um, so really that that on a daily basis is giving you top up on your minerals your vitamins and also 10 mg of CBD CBD is something that's become more popular uh, in the sporting world but also around the world as well um, and it's the reason is because everyone's got an endocannabinoid system and this endocannabinoid system is a system that's just as big and as important as your immune system it runs from all the way to the top of your head to the bottom of your toes now this system's job inside the body is to regulate all the other systems our main words that you'll see on our website is longer straighter and on the next hole i'm going to tell you a little bit about how we go longer and straighter with players fuel cbd oil do have to be longer but i hope it's straighter than that one <laughs> <laughs> right mate weight left and just uh, a nice little shoulder movement these are the things we've been looking at so far. He's having lessons with Ali Taylor, but Ali's rubbish, so I'm joking, <laughs> I'm joking. I'm gonna send Ali that. <laughs> Great shot. Lovely, wow. mate. Tiny bit long, but that's okay. You've got the bug, haven't you, I can tell. I have, I've got it. <laughs> so speaking of Ali Taylor, we do have quite a few kind of cool ambassadors for Players Fuel, don't we? And I'm, like I said, really, really thankful to be a part of it. So we've got Ali, we've got Dan Webster, we've got Mark Newton. I'm joining, how, many, how many ambassadors have we got now? We've got over 100 ambassadors, so 105 to be exact in 14 different countries around the world. Yeah. So uh, that's 105 playing ambassadors uh, here at Players Fuel. We try and support four levels of golf, which is uh, junior golf, amateur golf, professional golf, and uh, long drive specialist. Um, Me then? Yeah. <laughs> Not quite me. Not quite, James. <laughs> right, let's go. I think you can probably put that from over there. It just trickled over, didn't it? It did. I'll give it a go. Right, but mate. So we're putting just about over the ridge. If you had more green to work with, I'd probably say chip it. But with you being so new to it, anything on the green's a good effort. I mean, you've only had two. It's a par four. Go on. How good is that? That's awesome. Using your stroke length there that we spoke about earlier. It was, that was a great tip. And if anyone doesn't what. know that, James gave me a great tip there, which is basically, as I'm putting, use my feet to kind of gauge how far I need to pull it back on different, different lengths and distances, which has worked wonders for the couple of rounds of golf that I've played uh, with James today. Ali's getting sacked in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Hit it. Oh. A little Get bit that. firm, that one. Oh, I'm going to give you that one. That's in the circle. That's a three put six. It's unlucky. Obviously, we can put that down to short game. The video is about what we're taking off the tee, so we're not going to worry too much about that. I think there, the driver was definitely the play. It Obviously, was. Obviously, both were in play. The driver, I think we got lucky with, let's be fair. It was it clipped the tree and was a little bit further. It did. Further round, but you had a pitching wedge in your hand as opposed to with the iron, you were that far back. Fair enough, it wasn't a very good strike. Yep. But you were that far back, I think you would have had probably too much to do. So let's get to that next hole. Right, next hole, and this is one of my favorite holes on the golf course, fairly narrow, and it actually gets a little bit wider the further down you get. So again, this is gonna be probably easy for you with the, with the driver. So James, have you got a handicap yet? Are you not, not that? Uh... I don't, so I officially started golf at the beginning of lockdown, which was after my treatment. Um, and unfortunately, I've only had a couple of months of golf in between with the lockdown and, yeah. uh, um, and the time that we've had. So I haven't officially got my handicap score, but that's my aim and my goal for the end of this year. Is number one, I'm really, really loving and enjoying golf. But secondly, by the end of this year, I want to get some kind of handicap, even yeah. if it is. Yeah, 50 odd, it doesn't yeah. matter. Doesn't <laughs> yeah, matter. and the rest. <laughs> right, so we've switched up and we're going driver first this time. Your line is that house you can see in the distance. Okay. Great shot. Oh, it's just clipped again. We'll have to see about that then. Over to the iron. Now, so far for me, James's balance is obviously something that we would probably take a look at if this was a lesson. This is a test. My hypothesis 
is that it's going to be pretty even depending on how consistent James hits these shots. So he could hit the five iron of his life here, then we're one all going into the next hole. He could hit a terrible five iron. I think that driver is in play. It's definitely in the right hand trees. So that's a nice consistent miss for James, <laughs> which if you are new to golf, having a consistent miss is as important as having a good shot in you because you can start to say, right, I know I'm going to aim a little bit up that left hand side. It's not, even, yeah, it's know. not going to be too bad, but let's see where this five iron goes. Oh, great. Ike. Cut left. <laughs> Interesting. That's gone the other way, as you've seen on the shot tracer. I didn't tell you, I probably should have done. There's a lake over there. Oh, right. Okay. But we might find it if, it's, if it was well enough struck to maybe be over it. So we'll find out. Is there any crocodiles in the lake? Uh, you can welcome to go and have a look. <laughs> so, guys, in this video, you will hear us talking a lot about Players Fuel CBD. So, thankfully, we do have a giveaway in this video as well. So, James is going to give away a year's supply of Players Fuel CBD. To one lucky subscriber all you have to do you have to hit that subscribe button below have have rung the, i'm going to leave that in as well ring i never say this well ring the <laughs> notification bell if you haven't done already like this video and comment below players fuel but also go and like the guys at players fuel on instagram so that you can see what's kind of going on on there uh, fair enough yep right no all. let's go and see what this five iron's like so the world of cbd now i've been approached by kind of different cbd brands over the last kind of few years and i've always just dismissed it until you actually explained to me what it was yeah unfortunately there's too many big words in it for me to explain to the guys what it is just go through it in a little bit of kind of simple detail for people what it is why it's not what a lot of people think it is and, yep. and that benefits for people yeah no problem at all so let me give you a small history lesson in regards to uh, cbd and uh, why we originally used to use it and why we're using it again now um, CBD that we use more commonly comes from a hemp plant, uh, which is cannabinoid rich. Now, in the early 90s, uh, 1900s should I say, um, that hemp as in a plant wasn't banned. We used to have it in our food, we used to use it for our building materials, for our clothing. 50,000 different usages uh, actually a hemp had. Now, one of the things that used to happen is our cattle used to eat hemp on a daily basis, which means our cattle was full of cannabinoids. Now, uh, we used to rate our cattle on a daily basis, which means that we continuously consume cannabinoids, which means the body was continuously uh, activated, the endocannabinoid system, which some people call the ECS. Now, um, unfortunately, the government banned hemp um, in the early 1900s, which stopped hemp from being in our food chains completely. All our cattle wasn't having hemp, which means our bodies wasn't consuming hemp on a daily basis. All of a sudden, our endocannabinoid system starts slowly shutting down as we go forward. Now, it's been, 80, 90 years of the hemp being banned. Um, all of a sudden we've seen CBD, hemp, and other uh, like, like for like um, cannabis plants um, come to the front of the market. And then what's happening now is people are using them for the cannabinoids, for the medical properties in there. And our CBD is uniquely formulated. It's got 100% isolated um, pharma grade CBD, which means it won't appear on a drug test. Um, it's also got four added different terpenes in there, which helps with calm, focus, um, and relaxation. And an added herb called passion flower. Passion flower is a really, really good herb for recovery and for sleep at, sleeping at night time. Perfect. The bad news is... We haven't I haven't got next seen, door. <laughs> uh, yeah, I haven't seen the iron. So I think it might be... Over... With the crocodiles and... Right, okay, okay. Um, but I think the driver might be all right. And yeah. that, to be honest, if you would have missed the driver left, you would have been up here, which would have been fine. If you would have missed the iron right, again, you would have been fine. It would have so been over there. I guess that's just knowing the hole a little bit more. So, right, let's go and see where the driver is. You see, it's an interesting one because I've... The relationship we have is that I give you guys my honest opinion on the products themselves. And for me, one of the big kind of bonuses I've had with it is sleeping better and resting better, as you put it. But also, a lot of people on the channel will know that I had spinal surgery back in 2012. And I sometimes get the odd kind of day or even week where it's not great. And I've not really had that since. So, um, yeah, definitely finding some positives from it. Aha, here we are. So I'll tell you what, James, it's not ideal, but we've found it so has it got the logo on yeah that's your woolly park golf club logo yep that's perfect. me perfect so you've got a couple of options a couple of different gaps something with not much loft on it and then we're going to hope for the best and get it out there so maybe five iron again actually you're not so favorite club at the minute not so favorite <laughs> we'll give it a go so the key with these shots james is to keep the weight left again because okay. you're going to try and keep that ball flight down so i'll be picking the biggest gap you can see and then kind of don't worry about where the flag is 
half a swing and get it out there and then cover your face afterwards in case it comes back at us. <laughs> well out. Yeah, it's out there, just rolling out. down that right side as you can see there. Was that a gap you wanted? It was. I sure, no, no, it wasn't. <laughs> A little bit more to the left. <laughs> you see, this is what I love about people, or should I say the amount of people getting into golf at the moment. Just the, the smiles that you see on people's faces, because what would you be doing today if you weren't golfing with me? I'd be sat in the office working, uh, speaking to other golfers, but, uh, you know, working. Certainly not walking and playing the golf course, so. A golf ball there? It certainly was, yeah. Tell them One for the bag. One for the bag. Perfect. And so far, mate, it's fair to say that playing safe isn't your uh, isn't your best option, is no, it? No, it's not my forte, and I never have played safe all my life. I've always gone for the harder route yeah. and the more risky route. Right. Um, Pitching wedge? Yeah, I think we've got her there. Was that in the bag upside down? It certainly was. That means I'm new to golf, doesn't it? Let's have a look what's in here as well. So these are a perfect set of kind of beginner-style golf clubs. We've got the V2 Raptor irons, as we've said. We've got an R7 7 wood, an R5 driver and a pin seeker is that a chipper or a putter you got two putters in there you know what my actual putter i was practicing putting in my kitchen this morning i've left the actual putter in the in the kitchen oh nightmare so they're the two spares that i had and you know the clubs that i've got there that um i thought i was actually buying a decent set of clubs and my partner's uh, dad came into the house and he was looking at the set of clubs that i've currently got in my shed and he was like ah they're old and ancient i've got some great clubs at home i was like <laughs> All right, okay, then sort us out. It was like, I will do. So he came down, he passed me a set of clubs and they charged, to charge me £250 for the, um, for the courtesy of taking them clubs off him. And then I took him onto the golf course. Everyone's laughed at me and gone, you should I think they're all right. I'm not sure they're £250 all right, but they're all right. <laughs> right, mate, keep that weight left and flick it up onto the green. Oh, that's glorious. Yeah, a little bit long again. So James, how's this round of golf going compared to how you would normally play? I have to, mind you've not been playing that long, have you? No, I haven't. And James, like I have to be honest, it's probably my fourth golf course that I've been on. Like the one that I go on in my local town, which is Lancaster, I have to give him a shout out, Ashton Golf shout Course. Out. Uh, yeah. <laughs> joking, joking. Um, but yeah, it's the best round of golf I've played uh, performance wise, because just for the fact that the small tips that you've given me there have meant that I'm not toppling the ball, I'm not slicing it half as much, and I'm actually connecting with it 99% yeah. of the time, which for me makes it more enjoyable. Ali's getting sacked in the morning, isn't he? <laughs> That's right. twice. It's a little bit long here, actually, but. Would you go a wedge in there? Yeah, yeah, wedge. So weight left again. Flick it to about kind of here and let it run down that hill. The problem is you've shot every time you missed a green, you've short sided yourself, which makes it a little bit diff more difficult. So it means you've not got as much green to work with. Right. Okay. So a little bit narrower in the feet. Good. Weight left and then perfect. Oh, that's absolutely disgustingly good. <laughs> Great shot. <laughs> so throw two of those benefits at us, James. So two benefits, the two main benefits for CBD oil is recovery um, and your aches and pains that you've currently got. And they're the main two things that we um, see people talking about. Now, the reason why we say that it can go longer and straighter is recovery and aches. So first and foremost, that if you recover faster, you're on the golf course much longer. Yeah. If you're on the golf course much longer and more consistently, it means that your game's going to be more consistent, which means that you're going to be more consistently performing. Um, if you recover faster, it means that you're not going to be as injured uh, as long. And the secondary thing there is aches and pains that so many golfers have little niggly aches and pains and it stops them from going onto the golf course. Maybe some days they think, oh, my back's playing up today and I, and I won't go onto the golf course. Or maybe they're going for that swing and maybe they're not putting that full amount of effort in there mm -hmm. because of that little niggly back or the aches and pains. So what we've heard from a, a lot of the golfers that are using it is that number one, if you're using a whoop watch, your recovery will show that it's improving dramatically by uh, through your stats on your whoop watch. Yep. But number two, if you've got the aches and pains that we're seeing loads of people taking it that saying that they can pain that they've currently had, sometimes for years and sometimes for months, that it's not currently there no more. So they can't feel it or it's or it's it's dull enough that it's uh, it's not something that's bothering them. So they're just two of the points that massively help with uh, from CBD. Awesome, let's see if we can hold one of these putts then. You might need one of these, old boy. Thank you very there much. You go. Right, mate, let's get this stroke length just right. So uphill, it's not going to move that much. Get down in two putts and we'll move on. What have you had? One, two, three, four.
little bit much. Come on, we're going to see this one in. We will see this in. Just outside your left, downhill, so just tap it. God, I'm going to give you that, mate. I think it's fair to say putting we're going to work on. Yeah, most definitely. <laughs> putting is definitely not my strong point at this moment in time. <laughs> right, James, so one hole left. How do you feel like this test gone so far? You know what, I feel like that not only have I gone around that enjoyable day, but I've picked up quite a lot of tips and advice, uh, which would normally have cost me 50 quid from Ali Taylor. Oh, so, I'll tell uh, you what, Ali. It's I'll definitely been a great what. day uh, and gives, well worth it. Give us a fiver afterwards and we'll, we'll be done. <laughs> um, like for me, I think it's so interesting to see the driver's actually working a little bit better. Because yeah. let's be fair, I don't think you've hit your best shots with either of them. No. But that's exactly why hopefully you guys have tuned in to watch because you want to see what happens potentially when you don't hit your best shots with both of these clubs, which is going to put you in play more. So. Most definitely, and I feel like the driver's been more consistent and more safer. I feel like I'm more comfortable with the driver just for the fact that I feel like I'm going to hit it. You've not lost a ball with the driver either, have you? No, not one, yet. One with the, the iron, so um, where's the five as well? We'll take that onto the tee. I've left me a tee here. Oh, perfect. Finding balls and tees. So where am I looking here, James? Just at that pole again, mate, down the, down oh, the right. middle. Okay, yeah. It's a fairly shortish hole, but you should be okay with, with a big dog. I'll just put the shot tracer down. Okay, not bad. A little bit low left, but we're definitely going to find it. This could be one, you know, where you sneak an iron in there, maybe. I'm going to try with a lucky number seven that's upside oh, down. we're going to change it out a bit. Nice swing away on here or it's a clean sweep for the big dog. Yep. Oh, there we go. One for the irons. How good was that? That felt cleaner. That was very, very good, mate. Well done. Love you that. know what that was, James, as well, is that, you know, you're saying taking the motion and taking the weight and the, and the, the power out of it. And I think the misconception and what I believe anyway is starting golf is that you always have to try and hit it long and hit yeah, it hard. Yeah. Well, actually, by taking out, gives you more. So that Absolutely. more is less. You know? Absolutely, yeah. You see, that's a really interesting one because on that point for me, obviously, you all know that I've been struggling with a bit of a knee injury recently. And I've been playing some really good golf, just swinging at 70%, not really trying to hit it too hard and keep it in place. So if new golfers can take that up as well, not going into your knee, but yeah. just keep it keep it down a little yeah, bit. Yeah, most definitely, I totally agree. So we've been talking a little bit of players through all the way through this video, James. Give us those other two quick points while we get to this ball. Yeah, so the first one is, is sleep. So, um, you know, sleeping is something that's massively underrated, you know, and it, it. it's not until that you've got a whoop watch or you've got a performance watch that you realise how much your body's lacking sleep or how much it affects your output and your performance. So what we've seen um, dramatically from uh, what we've seen from golfers that have used the CBD oil is that when they've used the CBD oil and then they've looked at the stat watch, then basically that's massively improved on the deepness of sleep. Now by improving on the deepness of sleep and the length of sleep that they get means that they're more energized and their output is much better in the, in the daytime. So the last key point I'm going to tell you after we've hit this shot. Now. We need to find this drive first. It's in the Gagunga. So this the is the Gugunga. first one. I don't think you've gotten away with two look how long this is now it's like olympic club rough at the us open i mean the great news is i can see the iron shot up there so and again a lot of this comes down to james's golf james's own inconsistencies and you may say oh it's not a fair test because he wasn't consistent enough but you show me a golfer that's been playing how long uh two months three two months. months three months who's got a consistent golf game because i'd be oh there she is yeah, we found her um, so we're definitely not taking that one nope. because we only just had to stand on it to get it. But, but as I was saying, I've been playing, how old am I? I've been playing 17 years and I'm still not very consistent, although I know it goes that way, but right. It could be something to do with we've both got the same name. It could be, it could, it definitely could be that, yeah. James's are all rubbish. <laughs> Look at this for a shot as well. I dare say that's the best tee shot of them all. Yeah, most definitely. With an iron. And I think, you know, a lot of people could learn from, you especially James, could learn from practice a little bit more with the irons. And I think there's definitely room for thought where you will be more consistent with them as time goes on. I think being a beginner and being a bit nervous on a first tee, so you take the biggest club that you've got in the bag, yep. I'm definitely up for that. Okay. Like, I'm, sure, I'm sure you when you saw the first hole we played today and you had to get an iron out, you were like, ah, yep. right, middle of the green, mate, just a nice easy wedge. A little bit narrower in the stance. Good. And you're just aiming a bit right, mate, as well. 
Oh, that is wonderful. Just don't kick left. Oh, it has. Oh, it has. Don't go in there. Don't go in there. Oh, oh it wouldn't yeah. be a beginner, get, <laughs> beginner video without a bunker, would it? <laughs> so, fourth point, James. So, fourth point is really the most important. And it's just the complete wellness and performance of your body. Um, you know, CBD activates your endocannabinoid system. Your endocannabinoid system's job is to regulate all the other systems inside the body. So when all the other systems are regulated and the body's working at peak performance, we call it something called homeostasis, which means the body's perfectly balanced. So by taking CBD and having your endocannabinoid system activated, will naturally improve your wellness of your of yourself and your body, which will then give you a better output and better performance on the golf course. So they're just four of many points that we've got of why the players fuel oil, and not just players fuel oil, but CBD in general, will make you go straighter and longer. There we go. And guys, you can see there exactly why I haven't tried to regurgitate and learn that information to give to you guys, because there's far too many big words in there for me to, well, say, never mind, spell. So thanks a lot for that, James. Really appreciate that. I think, no are we just in the bunker here? Yeah, we're here. Oof, what a shot we've got to finish on here. I see myself a ball across there, I was ending across there then. Just over there. It definitely right. can't be your iron no, shot no, no. one. <laughs> Miles away. <laughs> Done much bunker work with Ali? <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is, yeah, really good. Right, we've got that for a par, mate. Let's finish on a, on a Let's positive. Let's finish on a high. Turn, turn, oh, it's a better pace. You know what, mate, that's in my circle of friends. I'm gonna give you that for a five. I'll take that, thank well, you very much. Fantastic five. So guys, <laughs> there we go. That is a total beginner golfer testing a five iron, slash seven iron for the last one, which worked really well. Maybe there's something in that for you against a driver off the tee. And I think that actually the driver won. Yep. Put two on, it won, like statistically it won. But I'm gonna say this as well, that is a video for your golf and how you've played. Guys, everyone will be different. Everyone will have their own preferences, their own strengths, their own weaknesses. So make sure you play to your strengths and weaknesses. Do this test yourself. And I'm hoping you've stayed to the end of the video to hear that because it's such an important, important factor. Guys, thank you so much for watching. James, thank you for your time, mate. Really appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thank you very much. Guys, Players Fuel is something which I'm an ambassador for this year and I'm really, really enjoying it. And I do find I'm sleeping better. I find I'm helping with recovery with the old back a little bit. I need to get working on the knee now and we should be, should be fine, guys. Thank you so much. Smash that subscribe button below. Leave us a like. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.